Hello everyone and welcome to FNAF Movie Opinion, aka why am I making a FNAF anything video, aka your children should stop watching the movie, you dumbass parent. All jokes aside, this isn't a video I would normally do, but I've been seeing everyone and their grandparents hyping this movie up while also shitting on adults who keep telling children why they shouldn't be seeing a possible R-rated movie. I want to clarify as this is purely my opinion, as I am not a minor, so I feel like I can make a video about this without it being some rage-inducing scene. I also want to say I'll try and make it less about bias, as again, I am an adult and it may come across as biased due to how I word things, but I apologize for that. With that out of the way, let's begin. Let's start off with the obvious, who is making the FNAF movie, who's working on it, etc, etc. FNAF was created by Scott Coffin in 2014 after being told his game Chipper and Sons Lumber Company was too scary, and reminded some people of animatronics, thus creating FNAF. The FNAF movie has been on and off for years, I believe since 2017 this has been in the works, but I could be wrong. May have been sooner. With it being passed around or just plain rejected by Scott because the script wasn't good. Currently though, the FNAF movie is being produced and is in the works of being filmed for possibly February slash late spring with amazing producer Blumhouse Studios who worked on movies such as Happy Death Day and The Purge as well as Halloween and Halloween Ends. They are known in the horror industry as one of the big horror names. The animatronics are being made by Jim Henson's Creature Shop that has been in movies like The Muppets, The Dark Crystal, and more. It's said to start filming January 1st and end April 6th of this year. With big names such as these, it's no wonder everyone wants to see what this group can do in order to make FNAF truly scary in the real world. There's high expectations currently, especially with tweets Scott and Blum have made about the subject, mainly teasing that these may be quote, too much for the public and Scott saying he quote isn't holding back on the goal. This understandably so has made everyone hype even more, which is more than fair. What isn't however is the number of people arguing on both sides as to why kids should or shouldn't see it. I won't lie, I mostly stick to TikTok so I hardly know what Twitter is going through about the argument here, but I'd assume that too would be running rampant with this current argument. I see a lot of minors under the age of 16 talking about how adults shouldn't be gatekeeping this movie from them and how they'll be seeing it either way, or I see the opposite as well. Minors under the age of 16 saying that kids under that age shouldn't be seeing the movie due to how possibly gory it will be and how it's just not ideal for them to see considering it seems like this may be rated R or at the very least 16 and up which is a valid argument. I also see a lot of adults saying they don't want to go into the movies and see a bunch of screaming children and that children shouldn't be at the movies watching this. Notice how I said children and not minors. I see a lot of people saying children when referring to all minors and that's just not true. Young teens, 16 to 17, sometimes 14 and up, are being treated in the same regards as someone who is 12 and under, which just isn't fair. I would like to bring up one personal experience, and that is when I was 16, maybe even younger, I watched it in theaters. I didn't scream, I just watched it and enjoyed the movie with my family, and that was one of my favorite memories, seeing a horror movie in theaters. People have put such high expectations for this movie, and they have every right to, but people did the same when they saw It or Happy Death Day, and I watched both of those in theaters when they came out for the first time. You need to treat the FNAF movie like any other horror movie. Your nostalgia goggles are on too tight and you need to realize that Scott and Blum are just hyping it up so people watch it. It will most likely be for 16 and up, which means whether you like it or not, minors will still watch. People need to stop gatekeeping, and yes, I'm using this term for this because it is exactly what's happening here. A on a movie of all things because at the end of the day it's just your nostalgia talking. Almost everyone who has argued with me about this have been adults who say things like, I've been waiting for this for years, they can wait a little longer, and I couldn't agree more if they're children, not young adults. 16 and up I feel is the safe age for people to watch this movie. Anything under that just doesn't sit well with me. Of course, in the safety of your own home, go for it. Don't say we didn't warn you though about the gore. I wanted to take a moment to talk to the younger folks possibly watching this. Just because you played the games doesn't mean you should be watching the movie. The games 
don't show any blood really it's just pixels or much of anything gory there's pixels shown on the screen like i just said but let's be real that doesn't count as gore you aren't edgy for watching the movie it it could seriously scare you, and when we say it may not be safe for you to watch it, that isn't us gatekeeping. That is us actively trying to protect you and make sure you don't get hurt by watching the movie. If your parents let you watch it in theaters when it comes out, I worry for you. None of us can predict what will happen in the movie regardless of what Scott or Blum say. We don't know, and neither I nor you should be saying any predictions that may not even happen. However, we should be allowed to advise against with something, especially with this possible degree of violence and gore. We aren't responsible for your choices, but we adults are trying to watch out for your health, even if some aren't going about this in a mature and responsible way. Until I see the trailer for this movie, I refuse to move my statements. I feel like this is a fair statement and one that should be said more. If the trailer shows anything that hints to gore or extremes, I suggest not letting your child watch it. I feel like that's a no shit Sherlock thing to say, but you know, if you're in your own home, then go for it. I don't care. That's your own funeral. Just don't be a bitch and complain if you get scared and or are harmed by the movie somehow. Minors shouldn't be yelling at adults for trying to protect them, and adults shouldn't be gatekeeping because we don't even know what the future of this movie or what it'll look like. So let's just relax and enjoy the ride, shall we? Because... We, again, we don't know anything, so we shouldn't be bitching at each other for this. I'm not on any side really, but I do lean a bit towards the adult side due to the fact we're just trying to help. At least most of us have the right idea here. We don't care if 16 and up watch. We're more concerned for children, young children watching the movie when it's clearly not suitable for them. At the end of the day, we're all just annoying ass humans trying to shove our opinions onto others. You choose what you want to believe, but I personally don't want young children watching the FNAF movie. I'm sorry, but I don't care about your opinion on this. With that being said, um, this won't be a common thing. I don't do FNAF. I only own two FNAF games and I stopped playing them after like Ultimate Custom Night and Security Breach, so I don't care much about the games. I'm just here for the movie. I won't be making much FNAF content, so please don't ask. I may have played since the first one, but I hate the lore and that's a whole other bullshit video. Video I want to do do to Scott's stupid lore and memory plot holes that make me want to rip my goddamn hair out. Lastly, before I go on to my next point, I just want to say stop comparing the FNAF games to the movie. I've seen the argument of as if you weren't seven when you played it, and I'd like to remind you that FNAF has never had kid themes. FNAF has always had adult themes not suitable for children, but due to the lack of blood slash gore in the games, it was obviously made 13 plus. The fact that some of you are comparing a pixel cutscene to the possible blood and gore that will happen is insane. When it chapter 1 first came out, I didn't see any minors. No one really cared and everyone was fine while watching it as I mentioned before in the video. Granted, that's a different case, but I'm bringing this up because most people who watched that and grew up with it became adults and that's the same with FNAF. I'm a grown ass adult and when I first played FNAF and watched the trailers, I was 11. I grew up over time and now I'm an adult watching the FNAF movie. You didn't grow up playing FNAF when you were 7, you grew up playing FNAF when you were older. If your parents let you watch this movie without checking at first, they're just being irresponsible adults. As parents, their job is to look out for you and make sure it's safe to watch. If you're a minor under the age of 13, just wait a bit. Stop bitching at adults for actually providing solid valid points for your lame ass excuses. You aren't quirky for watching the movie as a 9 year old, just like you weren't quirky for playing FNAF when you were 7. Grow the fuck up. <laughs> Sorry for the rant in this video. This is going to be one of my longer videos, so I hope you all enjoy. I'll be going back to smaller games soon, so don't worry too much. If you want to watch a FNAF YouTuber covering different topics similar to this one, I highly recommend my friend The Baddest. Isaac makes amazing content and they have some stronger opinions on topics if that's what you're into. I hope everyone has a lovely day. Thank you for watching.